this, this right here, this, this is your bread and your butter. Like you need to know this inside and out, front to back. Like study this, this is your best friend. You don't want to get beat in boot camp. You don't want to get push-ups. You don't want to get fussed at. You don't want nobody to say nothing to you. This is what you need. YouTube, it's been a long time coming. So, I ain't made a video in like ages. Like, so like, how can I explain it? I ain't made a video in like ages. And, you know, I've been missing YouTube. Like, I'm not even gonna cap. I've been missing YouTube. So today, I'm just gonna go and give y'all like a mukbang. Uh, and I'm gonna talk about like how I like the Navy and I'm finna give y'all my how I truly feel about the Navy. You get what I'm saying? Like, I'm finna give y'all the rooted to the two that how I feel, like what I like, what I dislike, all that good stuff. So just make sure you stay tuned. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and we're gonna get this video started. You feel me? So yeah. Um. So for my mukbang, right? I'm finna tell y'all what I got. Don't judge me. I'm a fatty at heart. I need to be working out. But yeah, I'm going to work out. I'm going to show y'all some videos when I be working out. I'm just going to y'all type of good content. So to start off this YouTube channel or whatever. Um, my kickoff for it. Uh, let me tell y'all what I got. So I got cornbread. It's good. It's a lot. I got candy yams. Then I got this. I'm, a, I'm sorry, but y'all, I'm from the South. I'm from the dirty south. So I got to have my like, I got to have my soul food, bro. Like, I got my hot sauce for my drink. I got me a little water. And I got collard greens, macaroni, not collard greens, green beans, macaroni, and fried chicken. So yeah, I'm about to grow up. Like on my mom, I'm about to grow up. And I'm finna talk to y'all, you feel me? Oh! Ain't this some bull crap. See, it always, God be trying to stop me. Not God, the devil be trying to stop me from giving y'all this video. But see, I'm gonna give it to y'all anyway. I'm gonna give y'all this video anyway. I don't think that's how I had it. Yeah, man, I just, I don't know where to start, man. This food looks so good, bro. I'm not fork out. But yeah, man, so. Uh, I guess I can tell y'all why I started. I left for boot camp on April 26th. Dang, it's some big chicken wings, bro. <laughs> y'all probably can't see it because the camera ain't showing, but yeah. Um, they gave me four pieces of chicken, bro. They're supposed to come with three. Hey, man. Oh, my God. So, I left for boot camp like in April 26th. Um, Boot camp wasn't bad, you know? I met a lot of people, especially where I'm come from. So where I'm, where I'm from, I'm from like Selma, and it's like, what's the word I wanna look for? I'm gonna say it's the trap. I'm just gonna say that. And <clears throat> basically, you know, it's a lot of potential. People, you know, a lot of potential come out of Selma, you know, it's just, it's not what about where you're from, it's about where you're going. And I just feel like staying in Selma, well, being in Alabama, let me rephrase that. I couldn't do what I wanted to do. But along this journey, I want y'all to see what I got in plan. I'm not going to tell y'all. I'm just going to show y'all, like, on my camera and stuff. By the way, this quality is, like, whack. Like, very whack. Um, but it's going to get fixed, like, soon this week. But, yeah, uh, I left for boot camp. April, back to the subject. I left for uh, boot camp April 26th. Oh, my God. This macaroni is busting. But I left boot camp right April 26. Boot camp wasn't bad. Um, honestly, I was like afraid that I wasn't gonna be like physical enough to like do the stuff in boot camp. It it wasn't that bad, you know. You know, I had to do my little eight counts, you know, my push ups and stuff. But see, the great thing about it was I'm mature, so. A lot of stuff you can get in trouble for in boot camp is like from like stuff that's immature. Like I'm 25, so I know right from wrong. You know what I'm saying? 
Well, a lot of people do know right from wrong. They just choose to do the bad stuff, like bad decisions and make bad decisions. But I, my boot camp experience, it was kosher. Like, I was smooth sailing. I got in a little trouble. Not like a lot to say. I just got beat to death. Um, yeah. My division got on my nerves. The division I was in. But that's every boot camp experience. Like, you're with the same set of people every day. From the day you walk in all the way to the day you leave. So, and y'all in one room for like two and a half months. So, that's how this going to turn out. Um, of course they was gonna get on my nerves. Of course they gonna rub you dry. But in the midst of it, you gonna find like you know friends or on like I ain't gonna say click, but you get to knowing who to say what around, what to do, what not to do. You know all this stuff right there. Um, <clears throat> watches in boot camp was it wasn't bad. Like you only do like three or four like hours of watch or whatever during the day. Or sometimes you do like two hours of watch, cool or whatever. Um, for everybody that's like watching this. If you decide to go to boot camp, don't be nervous. Just study your training command, study that book. This, this right here, this, this is your bread and your butter. Like, you need to know this inside and out, front to back. Like, study this. This is your best friend. You don't want to get beat in boot camp. You don't want to get push ups. You don't want to get fussed at. You don't want nobody to say nothing to you. This is what you need. This is your, this is your life, you know? So yeah, man, that's a tilt. I'm just saying, this is your tilt. I ain't mean to throw it down like that, y'all. So listen. But yeah, uh, so that's basically boot camp. It's the people, basically. That was the most challenging thing. But um, let me see. Uh, that was all right. That wasn't too bad. Oh my God. It wasn't hard, man. It was just the people. The people is what made boot camp difficult. Um, but I understand why. Because, like, you have to deal with the people, man. The people that you fuss at and that you being to with, those are the same people that you're going to need to help you. Some people don't understand that. But, hey. Some people didn't understand it when I, like, when I was in, like, boot camp and A school. They didn't understand when I said it. But I, like, you got to, like, really think about stuff. You know what I'm saying? You gotta understand, like, if you was on the ship and you was on, on, like into it with somebody and y'all in like a war or something like that, you gotta depend on the dude beside you. You hear what I'm saying? Like, me and you might be into it, but we gotta come together as a team to go do what we're gonna do to whoever we gotta do it to. You hear what I'm saying? Or if something happens to us, like, we gotta come together and save this ship. But that's just, you know, food for thought. Food for thought. Um, but yeah, that's it on that. Uh, uh, I hate this, bro. I hate when this be in my beans, bro. A school. So the rate I have is a uh, OS. I'm an operation specialist. Uh, operation specialist. And um, uh, I'm gonna let y'all do y'all homework. So. That's my rate or whatever. Mmm, this food is so good, bro. So, as an operation specialist, an uh, operation specialist, I'm tongue tied for some reason. They have to learn at school at Chicago. Well, in Great Lakes, Illinois. Right across the street from boot camp. <laughs> bro. I did not want to be across the boot camp. Like, I, when I left boot camp, I was ready to leave. Like, I was like, okay, I did my time here. <laughs> you know, I, I, I served my time. But I'm ready to get out of Illinois at this point. But, hey, I had to do what I had to do. So, Illinois is not bad, though. It's not. It's really not. Um, I'm dropping food all over the place. Man, I'm a good piece of chicken too. So, yeah, my A school is in Great Lakes. Um, when I got the great, when I got to A school in Great Lakes, it was like it's like a weight lifted off. Like I got off the bus after graduation and headed across the street, and they was like, "Let me get your bags for you," you know. 
We're not in boot camp anymore. You can relax, it's okay. You know, it's not so up, uptight here. We ain't got to worry about people, you know, fussing at you and petty officer this, petty officer that. And achieve this, you ain't got to worry about none of that. I mean, you do, but it's kind of more laid back environment. So I was okay with it. Um, I went to Chicago, like when I first got on Great Lakes, because they gave us like phase two liberty or whatever. And phase two liberty is basically like, you can stay out kind of late, later than like normal um, on the weekends. Um, you couldn't drink, <coughs> um, just stuff like that. Um, yeah, so, oh my God, you macaroni is so good, bro. That was pretty cool. Um, we went to Chicago, I drove bike, like we rode, like me and my friends from Boot. We rode bikes through the city. We uh went to like this restaurant. I can't remember like the name of it, name, but we ate good. We had fun. We roamed around the city and stuff. It was cool. Learning the country, and that, we just basically had fun for the weekend. Now the stuff we had to learn for my rate, it wasn't hard. We had times where we could just look at the paper and then take the test. But we also had times where we had to, like really buckle down and study. And that was pretty, you know, it wasn't hard. We had a couple of tests that was like kind of tough. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, we had one test. Let's just say the whole class was upset, but 80% of the whole class was upset. But at the end of the day, everybody graduated. So, that's all that really mattered. Um,. What else I can tell you about uh, A school? Oh, we marched. Then we had like a whole cadence. So it was like, okay, where we, where my room was, where, where my dorm, um, I can't say dorm, I don't know the, the term from the military term. Where I laid my head in, I'm gonna just say that. Where I laid my head in and where the school was, it was like right across the street. So we had to get up every morning like 6, 10, and we we're muster outside. When we muster outside, we were march to the school building. It was kind of cool. Um, and then we'll go and learn, you know, we the, I think he was a chief. Yeah, he's a chief. So he'll give us like a speech, like, you know, we get paid on the first and the 15th to teach. Y'all get paid on the first and the 15th to learn. Do your job. We're going to learn. We're going to learn y'all. Uh, uh, they basically saying y'all going to learn. We're going to teach and we're going to get out of here. Cool. So we did that. Got out, graduated. Um, I went home for two weeks. The worst two weeks of my life now, this land. But I kind of miss home, but I don't. Like, you don't realize that when you left, when you leave to go to the military and you come back, People are doing the same stuff. You get what I'm saying? Some people elevated. Don't get me wrong. Some people, when I went home, they elevated. You know, they're still doing stuff with their life. But you got some people that's still in the same situation. You get what I'm saying? And it's like, dang, I've been gone for like April to like, I went home. I finally went. I was done with A school like in October. It was the end of September, beginning of October. But I, I, you've been gone for April to uh, September, and it was like you still in the same boat. Like people don't elevate it, elevate. And one thing y'all learned about the military, like you're steady elevated, and when you go back home, it's like you going back to the same stuff. That same person doing that same stuff. That same person still going out drinking every weekend. That same person sitting out there not doing them laugh. They're like that same person hanging around with the wrong crowd. It's just you just realize when you're gone, you realize a lot of stuff when you come back in those however long your A school was. So. Boot camp. But but it, it is what it is. You're focusing more on your, more on yourself. Um I'm still getting off subject, but um and now I'm in uh I'm in my first command. Yay. 
I'm in Newport News, Virginia. Yeah. I did not want to come here, bro. <laughs> bro, I swear to God, I did not want to come here, bro. Like, I wanted to be in California so bad. But I just feel like it's all good. I feel like God was giving me a sign. Like, if I had went to Cali, I'd be broke. Because I'd be living a party lifestyle. And that ain't something I need, bro. It's not. Like, I just feel like if I was in Cali, I'd get paid Thursday. By Sunday, I'd be broke. <laughs> By Sunday, I'd be broke, bro. Swear to God. Because it's Cali, bro. I never lived on the west side. So I can only imagine how the lifestyle on the west side is. I don't need it. I don't even need it, bro. But yeah, now I'm stationed in Virginia. I'm in Newport News, Virginia. Um... <clears throat> Virginia isn't bad. I don't, I don't think it's that bad, you know? It's not. I don't think it's that bad. Um, what else I gotta say? Now, to the, to the good part, how I feel about being in the military. The U.S. Navy, let me rephrase that. I'm gonna be honest. Being in the Navy for me, so far, it ain't done nothing bad. It ain't, it, it ain't being in the Navy. It ain't hurt my feelings. Like, I actually like it. Like, I'm away from Alabama. I'm a country boy. If y'all don't know my accent, you ain't figured it out by now. I'm away from Alabama. I, I'm in a whole different set of surroundings. I ain't gotta pay rent. I ain't gotta pay light. I ain't gotta pay none of it, bro. Yo, like, I haven't been deployed yet, so. I won't I, I won't really get the real experience until you get deployed, but that's crazy. Yeah, I ain't been deployed yet. But other than that, man, I I like the baby. Like I don't see nothing wrong with it. I travel for free. I meet a lot. Of, oh, that's another thing. Mean people, oh my god. The people in the military, you have some people that, you know, they are where they are, but they are all that nice, but you also got some people in the military, they just, they nice, bro, like, you meet people that's, like, I met someone that's the same age as me, like, we have a lot going on, we have the same amount of everything, like, she's me, but in a female body, like, we're just that much the same, like, but, and we're so close to friends, you get what I'm saying? You meet people, you know what I'm saying? They have goals in their life, and they're trying to achieve those goals now. The bond, the friendship, the relationship y'all get. You don't get that anywhere else. In the military, they give you that. I kind of like that. What I heard about the military. What do I hate? Um, I don't know. I can say what I hate. I don't really got a hate for the military, honestly. Like, that's just me being honest. Like I said, I haven't been deployed yet. So I won't know. I can't really give y'all details like that. Well, yeah, man. And that's my up, that's my life. That's my update, man. So, that's basically honestly all it is. <laughs> Maybe I'll give y'all a story time or something like my first night. Y'all let me know. I might, y'all let, let me know, like, what videos you want to see, like, or any questions y'all got. Any questions or anything like that, just make sure you like, you know, inbox me or make a comment. I'm going to reply. You know, I'm going to try my best. I'm not going to try my best. I'm going to do it. I'm going to reply to y'all, honestly. Even if you just give me a thumbs up on the video. Show some support. Show me some love, man. That's really it, honestly. Um, what's that? The cornbread thing. Collab. Oh, my God. But yeah, man. That's basically it, man. I'm going to wrap this video up because I got to get finished in. I'm going to do a little reaction. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. And um, I'm going to see y'all on another video, man. Pieces. I'm like my homeboy say. All right, bro. One.